Hello beautiful Taurus, how are you today? This is a general reading for Taurus. The channeled message is that this week, Taurus, is the week that you finally have to take the garbage out, okay? You really need to get out of your head and you need to stop being injured by somebody who has treated you badly. It does look like a very good week for you if you're willing to come into the present, look forward, and worry about now into the future. You have to give up the past. So if you want to manifest love this week, if you want to manifest new love, there are people around you who want you. They already know who they are. They see you. You don't see them. And one of them is an emperor. So might I add, this is a person that you could marry. Not only marry, they're a soulmate. But you have to take your head out of your lap and you have to look up, okay? I know that was a very stern message. It's not how I use, usually message things. But this is has reached epidemic proportions of being a problem for you. So we see you looking at life from a different perspective. This is virtually the Rorschach of ink blot test. You are looking at life through the lens of what has kept you broken hearted. Why have you not found love? Very good questions. Very existential. The strength card. You want to know why everybody admires your strength and then seems to punish you for it in your life. We have the cobra versus the lion. Both are very powerful. Both are both can unravel each other. So you're well matched in love, but you want to really know why anybody or the people that profess that they have so much respect for you don't hang in the relationship with you. Nine of Pentacles, fabulous. You are good on your own. You do well for yourself. You look great. You're beautiful. Everybody wants you. You just aren't available. Until you get rid of this other person psychologically, emotionally, energetically, you cannot attract something new. It's sort of like trying to put a new hot, fresh cup of coffee into a cup of coffee that's grown cold and stale and needs to be tossed, okay? So I think that's the best way I can word this. I'm really thorny with you this week because too many of my dear Taurus friends are struggling for you're just keeping yourself struggling, and it's not where you need to be. So the Five of Wands is reversed. Yay! You are giving up on being, on competing for other people. You are giving up on letting egotistical people drive relationships. You're giving up on conflict. You're giving up on the tiny things that just do not help you, that do not move you forward. The Eight of Swords, you are going to take August off mentally, psychologically, spiritually. You need time to heal. Right now, you're all in your head, but I want you to take time to rest. I want you to meditate. I want you to walk in nature, do whatever you have to do but you really need to take time out. Here you go, see? After you take time out, look at what happens. Sacred heart energy. You are going to attract and manifest a beautiful sacred love. The Eight of Pentacles. This is a person who wants to get to know you. They want to know everything about you. They want to come to the relationship and create something beautiful with you. This person might be just a little bit less experienced than you because they're the Eight of Pentacles and you are the Nine of Pentacles, but they are hot on your heels. They want a partnership with you. They want to get to know you, get to know all about you. They are invested look at this you're in your empress energy you know you are an empress the empress is taurus taurus you're in your reading nobody is more beautiful than the empress nobody has more love than the empress nobody can bring forth the amount of giving and abundance and beauty in a relationship than you taurus so stop living in your shadow Look at you. We actually have a bowl here. The Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy again. 
You want equal give and take. You're so tired of giving and giving and giving and people taking and taking and taking. So right now, what we see is you becoming much more balanced, having an awareness that giving too much doesn't do anything to help you. Most people, when you give, 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 they will take, 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 take. And so you have a really good awareness that that is not going to be the answer for your life. Two of Pentacles says that you will soon be juggling two lovers, two love interests, and thoroughly enjoying the attention and the ability to make a judgment call in your love life. There we go. By the end of August, or the near future, you are in the Queen of Cups energy. It's beautiful. It really speaks to the fact that you are in love and somebody is in love with you. Get yourself a beautiful, fresh cup. Pour in a hot cup of love. All right. Thank you so much, Taurus. Bye-bye. Take care.